Somebody who graduated with a BS and CS should know all the answers to your question. So, let's get started. Engineering is about solving technical problems. But what type of problems can it solve? Non-technical problems, like being an idiot, can't be solved with math and science. Uh, it's private property, you can't build here. Oh, this is the sidewalk's private? This is not the sidewalk. The sidewalk is right over there. So to recap, engineering is about solving technical problems, not people problems. How do engineers come up with these technical solutions? You gotta know the science and math behind it. Calculus 1, calculus 2, differential equations, discrete math, feasting on math. Science, if you're doing more mechanical, lots of physics. If you're doing more chemical, lots of drugs, I mean chemistry. I'm sure Khan Academy has a video on that. So build up that foundation and just see how awesome drugs can be. Let's say you use math and science to solve the problem. What do you get? Maybe a patent? Maybe a uh, raise, or maybe just some personal satisfaction, right? You could have an abacus in your head and be keeping track of every single dollar. It's not really about the hard work. It's not like you're competing against other peers who thought high school was a joke anyway. Don't worry about learning how to learn. You're never going to need it. The other skills that you're going to need to develop are spatial ability and analytical skills. So when I say spatial ability, I'm talking about visualizing things mentally. Like it's basically like you're on an acid trip, but you're not because this is engineering school. You're gonna wanna visualize things from different angles maybe, rotate three-dimensional objects. Some people say that weed out courses are gonna deter potentially good engineers from even trying, just cause it's just mindless work sometimes. But others say, well, if you wanna be an engineer, you're gonna have to nut up, okay? If you're a girl, you're gonna have to bra up, okay? Is this the weed out class? Cause I'm here to smoke some weed. <laughs> Looks like everybody got weeded out. Well, that was stupid. First thing is analysis. Requirements, what do you need? For this video, I need it to be comfortable. I need to be lit. And I need a camera uh, implementation. How am I gonna be comfortable? Well, I'm gonna wear my boxers and I'm gonna be standing on a yoga mat. I'm gonna light myself professionally with these two lamps. And I need a camera with a mic. Boom. But boom This is the video right here, right? Testing. Basically, what I'm gonna put it out on YouTube. I'm gonna deploy it, baby. You're gonna see a lot of people say, hey, hey, buddy, do you wanna invent the next big thing? Do you wanna build the future? Do you want to be the best? Reality is, get your ass to a cubicle, check your email, go to a bunch of meetings, get some actual work done, and then go home and rinse and repeat. Recently, I heard some rumors about the lack of women in engineering and sexism. I was like, I was really surprised by these rumors and uh, just to verify that they weren't true, I went out and talked to some of the best engineering students that I could find and uh, here's what they had to say. Why did you major in engineering? Because of the women. Wow, so what about all those girls in engineering? I don't know, because there's a lack of girls. I... Oh, no, 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 no. Well, there's tons of girls. They're really smart, too. Yeah, I like that. One of your friends told me that you majored in engineering. What's what's the rationale behind that? Uh, basically, I wanted to learn. I just wanted to hang out with chicks. So uh, why'd you major in engineering? Because I like girls. I used to smoke cigarettes, camel cigarettes. I used to love to drink wild turkey and whiskey. I chip all the paint off the already and painted all ready for a gloss or a continental all ready. My parents are forcing me to study engineering. Should I study engineering? You just answer your own question, silly. They're forcing you to study. So obviously, yes. You want to have a good relationship with your family. So do as they tell you and shut up, okay? If you don't do it, you're gonna face severe consequences within your family, within the local community. Something like this. Just these bananas, please. All right, sure, no problem. Are you Indian? Yeah, man. Are you studying engineering, medical? Law? Business? Nah, just media. Media? What the hell is media, man? No, I can't sell you bananas, this man. I can't sell you bananas. Come on, get out of here, man. This is only for smart people. This is called smart mart, alright? Are you I'm serious? Not, I'm hella serious, man. Get out, man. I don't want to sell you bananas, man. I sell some bananas to my smart people, not idiot people. Get out. Dude, what the? That's nothing worth that, man. Get out, man. Indian. Don't even come back, man. The answer may surprise you. 
But I'll give you a hint. It starts with a D and ends with an S. And it's not this. It depends, right? If you're interested in solving technical problems with math and science, and you can kind of see yourself doing lots of math and science for a career, or if you tend to think spatially, or maybe if you just like doing brain teasers and logic puzzles, engineering may be worth looking into. To help you get started though, I've organized a bunch of information from different websites. Link is right here, as well as in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this stupid little video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe. I put out new videos all the time according to the schedule on my face. Alrighty, thanks for watching, yo. Peace out. Yo, yo, Baba Mali, Baba Mali, where's the weed at? <laughs> Is this the Get Ugly show? Is this your man? No. That's I've been sex in my Abigail. whole life. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs>